Bethelou. <laughs> All right, my first guest stars on the NBC series Ed, and currently you can see him on Broadway in Urine Town. Please welcome Tom Cavanaugh. I'm warning you. I'm warning you up front, Tom. This, this show, show may, this show may not air. <laughs> this my, show, it's my kind of show. Tom. I'm waiting for a call from the FCC <laughs> to you, tell me if this is airable. What are you guys doing down there? <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> now some guy is watching this going, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> the red phone, the bat phone on. There's an old ringing. Southern Colonel that owns this show, and he's very <laughs> unhappy right now. I say, I say, I say, boy. <laughs> That's nice. What kind of show you running there, boy? He must love the urine town thing. Yeah. Right oh there. man. <laughs> Urine Town alone. Yeah, that well, let's alone talk is about that urine. going to cancel your show. Let's talk about Urine Town because what? that's the name of a play that if uh, like an eight-year-old boy would come up, <laughs> first he'd say like Pee Pee Town, and then they'd go no no clean it up, and yeah, he'd go Urine Town. Isn't that good? Yeah. yeah, Urine Town. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the one. Well, yeah, this is this... exciting. First of all, you're on Broadway. Well, this yeah, is... no, that's tremendously, it's, it's thrilling, to tell you the truth. The title, you know, I think there's various ways you can handicap a show, you know, Sex in the City. Right. Great, right? Right. You know, People you're, go you're... like, I like oh, sex, I'm and I love, I, and I, I love live the in the city, city. I gotta I check go, it out. You know? You're in town? Well, that's a whole different ballgame, I think. Right. But what, what we found is that a show with the title You're in Town, if it survives more than, say, a day, you know, must have something going for it. And this, sure. this thing is in its second year, so they're, they're doing something right down My there. question is, uh, obviously ahead. the theater in, and I'm allowed to ask questions, uh, even, if, <laughs> even if this show doesn't <laughs> air, I'm doing? allowed to get sure, sure. the transcript of this show will still be available. Stick to the protocol. Sure, yeah, absolutely. exactly. Nice. Uh, let's pretend that this <laughs> yeah, is a real interview. Absolutely. No, what I'm curious about, <laughs> I'm just curious about something, Tom. What, what I'm curious about is uh, a lot of older people go well, and see uh, Broadway do. shows, they that's sure just uh, what they do, and uh, what, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what, what keeps do. them going. That and bungee jumping, yeah. yes. But, um, bungee jumping? Bungee jumping Broadway she shows. There you go. Bungee jumping. <laughs> that's, it. that's a good one. Um, what, what we find Where the hell was that response yeah, half, an half an hour ago? Half an hour ago. Where were you? Where were you? Uh, um, but anyway. What, what we find is from the old people is when you tell them about the title, there's just really, you get the blankest stare. It's like, uh, you're on Broadway. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, and, and what's the name of the show? You're in town. And they do the Homer Simpson blink, you know, right. blink, blink. Right. And then it's like, I don't know that town. Right. That's what we get all the time. But then when they come and that's see so the show. so ironic, because if there's one thing an old woman would know about, it's you're in town, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's, that's me being the straight man for the <laughs> yeah. I go low when I have to go low. I don't care. Uh, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's seriously. not going to air. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching this at home, you're getting some weird, you're picking up some weird station. Signal. Yeah, this is an the NBC. The... <laughs> exactly. You should maybe just have the, you know, right. the trumpet sound over this and just like. No, no, signal. I'm saving him for a okay, dire good. situation. Nice, nice. So, 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 so people they are upset, but then they, but I've heard from we, many people that they then accept the show because it's a really good show. We uh, we win them over. Actually, it's a very it's a very smart show. It's a, it's a it's intelligent. It's it's funny, or at least it was before I got there. And it, right. you know, it it uh, it's really it's just a really really good show. You know, right. it uh, pokes a little bit of fun at other uh, Broadway customs and other uh, Broadway musicals in a nice way. Mm -hmm. And and it's the the, the cast is. Unbelievable, and it's, it's really it really is a good show. People and I think really one of like the it. fun things about doing I've never done it, but theater Yet. in yeah Yet. about <laughs> sex with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my word, I'll do it. I will. Oh, I'll do it one day. Uh, yeah, right. Have a long beard. I never did it, guys. Uh, one great thing about being in New <laughs> one great thing about being in New York City. Oh my goodness! I would gracious think, sake, yeah. Right. Sorry about this no, show. No, no, you're on fire. Yeah, but <laughs> one of the great things about being in New York City and doing a show is you get there's just you know like you bump into people on the street who Absolutely. probably know you from from your well, show. They, you know what I find sometimes that people go out of the way to um, make sure that they you know that they have no idea who you are. This is actually I've, uh, this happens a number of times. I, I was in the Central Park yesterday and this. This girl walked up to me, and literally, you have to have that, like, that gene anyway. Like, who walks up to a stranger anyway? Right. You know what I mean? I have the shy gene. I wouldn't do that. She comes up, and she's like, do, do I know you? And I was like, uh, I don't think so. He's like, oh, I think I know you. And I'm like, well, uh, I, I do a television show. I don't name the show. I don't give her my name. She's like, no, I never watch TV. I don't watch TV. I don't have time for TV. I'm like, oh, fine. And so we, we talked a little bit, and, 
And she left, and uh, she, as she was leaving, she's like, okay, well, bye, Ed. <laughs> right. I like that I'm she like, just wanted, you to, wanted you to feel bad know, about yourself. Yeah. You know, this kind I, of thing. I'm not even, I get that, I get people that come up to me all the time, and I say, like, I they know you, know what are you? you are. Well, I say, they'll say, like, I know who you are, and I'll go, like, yeah, yeah. I, I love I, you, I, Dave. Do the, I do the, yeah, exactly. Where's your gap? Did you get your gap fixed, Dave? Or they think I'm a, a boyish Ted Koppel. Uh, but, I, but I get a lot of them come up to me, and then they'll say, They'll, they will make a point of telling you, I, I never, I'm show. never up late, and I never <laughs> and, see you. And you're like, well, then... I don't understand that. Why did you come up to me? I don't watch the show, you yeah. know. I don't watch and, TV, and then they I start doing this to your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I find very hard to believe is that I read that you don't I know what a, you're going to bring up. It's yeah, just the cell phone that you thing, can right? fly. Had, yeah, no. um, that I can but, fly. Yeah. No, I find it very it's hard to... It's actually true. If I could fly, I'd be so gone right now. No. No, no. See that? They love you, you see? Wow. <laughs> like, oh, they're sticking up for me now. Like, I don't know why. They're like, kill Kavanaugh, yeah, keep going. Right, right. That's nice. That's great. When people attack me, that's, that's right. when they love me. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. um, uh, but, but you don't own a cell I phone. No. And I find, like, how can you live in 2003 well, you know and not have a cell phone? Is, is, you know, 10 years ago, I, I wasn't a freak, you know, because I didn't have a cell phone. Now, freak, you know? Right. And the funniest thing is, you know, what I do have is technology progresses. I just regress. I have, you know, one of those... 1940s crank phones, you know, and like two full-time operators, Circle Murray Hill, one, two, four, four, three, you know, <laughs> right, this kind right. of thing, you know. And I, I want to call the people at Mayberry and ask them what's going I don't know, on. I don't have enough, I, I, I can't seem to like control like the actual normal regular phone. I don't know if I had a cell phone, I don't know how I'd be able to Have you tried that. a cell phone? I mean, if you, because they're really simple. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they actually no, have the voice. The technology is daunting for me, <laughs> they, they, actually I don't think have, I can... they have voice activated ones now where you can just say Tom Cavanaugh and it will <laughs> dial you. Well, you know, if I could do it like that, then maybe... <laughs> yeah. If I could walk around going, Tom, Kamala, <laughs> <laughs> then maybe I, could, maybe I could jump in okay, there. Okay, maybe oh, I, I did it a stupid <laughs> way. You know what, but my just, point still... You're just more technologically adept than I am, you know? No, I'm the worst. If I'm doing something, I swear to God, if I've got a technological product, it means anyone can use it. Right? I didn't get a computer till three yeah, years ago. I don't have. Three, you don't have a computer? Do you have email? No. Sorry. That was a trick question, because if you had said, yes, I have email, but no computer, I'd know, yeah. <laughs> then I'd have police come in and beat you. Yeah. Get, the, get the colonel on the phone. Right. Sure. The southern colonel yeah, is right. very unhappy now. <laughs> I said, boy, how can you not have a cell phone, boy? Uh, <laughs> That's good. Um, That's good stuff. Now, every time, no, it's not, <laughs> but it's nice of you to say. It's nice of you to feed the propaganda. Now, you, every time you've been on the show, you do this delightful thing where you, you love pranks and you love oh, to play yeah. pranks. This man loves to play pranks on his cast members, this especially Julie Yeah, Julie on your Bowen. show, I like to, and only on your show, I've brought these, uh, these different pranks that we end up getting filmed on video. Like, I, I tied a, a piece of, uh, I tied a fake mouse to a piece of fishing wire and scared the, the heck fire out of Julie Bowen, the right. co-star on the show. And uh, I had another castmate uh, sign autographs with one of those pens that gives you electrical shocks. And, um, <laughs> Well, at least we're not wasting the taxpayers' good time and yeah. money over there. Yeah. Um, and then, Did you uh, check first if she had a heart condition? <laughs> yeah. that hey, Dick Cheney, have this gag pen. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's good. No, it's not good. <laughs> I keep trying to tell you it's good. You're yeah. trying to tell me and I will not buy it. <laughs> right. But so I'm curious, like, well, then, did then you bring recently, it? Did... Yeah, I did. I did, actually, Conan, recently. Uh, you know, one of our, uh, uh, the guys that works on the crew, Teddy, has a love of donuts, and, and so I played a little prank on him, and, and I brought it for you. This is uh, backstage at your backstage show. Backstage at the craft service table, the place where you get, like, you know, uh, food and uh, and drink and stuff and we little just, little just prank on out. a cameraman. He's actually one of the one of the crew. You okay, know? So you'll you'll be able to spot him. You know, a burly type and loves donuts and so that would give the, the idea for this uh, for this, this uh, fun little prank. Let's take a look. Prank. Hey, new glaze. Hey, Teddy, they got the new glaze donuts. Your favorite. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You rascal. <laughs> I love it. It's so childish, but my favorite thing about that is that he had to fall sure, on the on donut. Donuts, right? <laughs> Gotta go on the donut. That's a great, that's a great choice. It's a prop, use it. Absolutely. Uh, urine Town is now playing. <laughs> Thank you for saying that on the air, by the way. Eh, pee pee town, pee pee town. Uh, you're in town is now playing at the Henry Miller Theater on Broadway. And uh, Tom, we always have a lot of fun with Pleasure. you. Thanks for being Thank here. Much, Tom Cavanaugh. The show is Ed. Check it out. Sienna Miller. Very beautiful woman coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
are back. And what a show it is. What a show it is. Uh, hey, as amazing as tonight's show is, tomorrow night is going to be maybe, uh, I don't know. you got to watch tomorrow night. That meant nothing. Uh, I'm serious, though. Listen to this. Coming up tomorrow night on this show, comic legend Jerry Lewis is going to be on the show. And I cannot believe, I've never met Jerry Lewis in my life. I've always wanted to meet Jerry Lewis. He's going to be here tomorrow. And uh, I just think that's amazing. Comedian and actor Harlan Williams, very funny man. Musical guest Buddy Guy. So watch that. That one's going to air. That show will air. I promise you.